I have been studying the evolution of the cities and the impact of information technology. And the more I'm doing this, the more I see the importance to understand the science of our humanity. <coughs> Let me illustrate. Can I ask you please to close your eyes? All of you. Imagine. Imagine you have to leave the city in which you are living now. In which city would you like to go? In which city would you like to move? And why? Open your eyes, all of you. I have asked this question thousands of times, and I'm getting two categories of answers. In the first category, people are telling me, I want to move to that city because I have my parents who are living there, I was born there, or I had great vacations with my children, I met my wife, my husband. So people are saying, I want to move to that city because I have great memories, great souvenirs. In the other category, people are telling me, I want to move to this city because I heard, I, I've read articles, I've seen uh, multiple videos about it, documentaries. People told me there are lots of jobs. So people are moving to this city because they are dreaming about it. But in the time where technology is important, I've never heard anyone telling me, I want to move to this city because I can manage all my utilities online. I can pay my bills online. I can access to the government services online. I can remotely manage my utilities, my villa, from my mobile phone. The irony is that we are told that technology is great for us, information technology being developed, and in fact, we don't value that when there is a criteria that where, in which city would you like to go. We would not select that city because it's using or leveraging the use of technology, information technology. So the question I have is, we are invaded by technology. How this technology actually will be will value our time, will value ourselves in the future. And if I want to plan for the future, I need to understand my past. Do you know when cities were created? About 12,000 years ago. What is interesting to me is actually why these first people at that time invented the concept of the city. And also very interesting is why the other people decided to move to this new type of city, this new innovation. And the answer is simple. Because the city created value to them. So let's see in the history how cities is creating value. Long time ago, you know, tribes were fighting together against each other. So people were moving to the cities to get security and safety. More recently, in the 50s, we are looking for a better quality of life. We are looking, we want to go to the restaurant, we want to have coffee with friends. So people are moving to the city to find jobs and this quality of life. We are calling this the modern city. In the 70s, something great happened to us. We invented the fiber optics. And with the fiber optics, actually we invented broadband communications internet. And what does it bring to, to the cities is that we actually have created new jobs. This technology, the use of technology 
has created new jobs and innovations in our cities. Then the information is flourishing. We are sharing more and more data, more and more information. And also the name, the different types of cities. So we have the economic cities, the intelligent city, the green city, the eco city, the ubiquitous city, the world city. And in 2010, there is a new concept coming, the smart city. And that, the concept of the smart city was created by the ICT industry. And with this, um, they launched the value proposition that the use of technology, the use of information technology in our city will actually create value to, the, to us. So the future will tell us about this. But now I'm interested to foresee actually how this future will look like, you know, this far future. What we know, technology is here. But uh, I hope you agree with me that in the future, the most important thing in our city is us. We should be the, the core of the city. Technology is here, so we will be surrounded by sensors in our cities. Sensors are like uh, CCTV cameras, water pressure, temperature, and all our mobile phone. <coughs> These sensors are actually very important because they are transforming an information in our environment into a data. And this data will be captured in uh, systems like fogs, clouds, internet, cybernet, skynet. And what we do with this data, we will have to analyze them. We will analyze this data. And from this analysis, the most important will actually to create value, to create urban value. And why do we create urban value? Is to develop a sustainable city. A city where we can have a social balance. A city where there is a healthier environment. A, th a city where we can have a economic prosperity. So now you can ask me the question is, but how can I create value? How we will create value thanks to this uh, information technology? So because I have an engineer background, I will uh, give my answer from the engineer. Sensors, they are very important and they will continue to be. Do you think all sensors have already been created? Of course not. Imagine this uh, clicker. If I point to you and I could get maybe your stress level. It hasn't been invented yet. And actually, if I point in this direction to my wife, Bertie, I would get the highest result of stress. <laughs> with this new information, with this new information, I can connect dots. I can create new software. There is a new area, era, of software innovation after this hardware innovation. And what about the business model? Business model are made because of what we know. We are creating value, delivering value, based on what we know of this environment, of the economic environment. Imagine I have more information about this environment. If I have more information, maybe I can manage more of my risk during this uh, business model. I can mitigate my risk, reduce my contingencies, and actually reduce my cost, and be more competitive on the market. 
So by leveraging the use of information, the use of analysis, the use of artificial intelligence and simulations, I can improve actually my business models and develop disruptive business model innovations. But these innovations for me are meaningless if they are not human-centered. They have to make us proud as a human. And when they are human-centered, we can develop three big pillars of innovations. Environmental innovations. We can fight this pollution, this climate change. Social innovation and create new jobs and a better balance in our cities. And economic innovations where we can improve the prosperity of our businesses, our entrepreneurs, SMEs in all our cities. And this, in the end for me, is creating a more sustainable city, a more human city. But you understand, the more you innovate, the more you're changing the cities in which we live. And the more you're changing the cities, the more you're changing ourselves. I recommend you are developing more human-centered innovations in order to develop our future cities and to continue to sustain our humanity. Thank you very much.